Hey, good afternoon. I'm Desiree Moses, coming to you live from In Your Ear Studios in Richmond. We're in for a real treat. We are joined by Green Sky Bluegrass. Give them a hand. They're playing music at Maymont tonight. Doors at 5.30. The show's at 7. The latest album is Stress Dreams. We're going to talk all about that, but we'd love it if you guys would kick it off with a song. What would you like to start out with? Here's a brand new song that you requested called Congrats and Condolences. Actually, it's called Congratulations, I believe, and yes, Condolences. I wrote some of it. Busted out, ever you were driving, the sky was open wide, but we had nowhere to be. But now the years do what they do, and I'm trying to keep up on you. The status on the screen, but I can't see you between the zeros and once we didn't have to try. Now I wonder, will you know me if you look me in the eye? Oh, how do we become friends like this? Congratulations and condolences. Now I can't call falling out just a slow burn and shaded out, but I'm hoping we can stay close without the task of catching up. He doing awful well and I try to understand and tell you you're proud of your success and stuff But it feels more like just fuck off Once we didn't have to try Now I wonder will you know me if you look me in the eye Oh, how do we become friends like this? Congratulations and condolences Take chances in the days filled with endless searching, no need for answers. So maybe I'll reach out to you and feign a bit of familiarity. But all this reminiscing stirs up remorse with the memory. Sentiments as well. Distant concern and conjured words feels like fraud and gesture. Once we didn't have to try. Now I wonder, will you know me if you look me in the eye? Oh, how do we become friends like this? Congratulations and condolences. Sky Bluegrass live on WNRN from In Your Ear Studios in Richmond. Before we go any further, guys, can you give everybody a visual out there in Radio Land and introduce yourself and say what instrument you're on? I will go first. I am Paul, and I am playing the mandolin. I look like this. I'm Mike. I play the banjo. I'm also Mike, and I play the bass, and I stand in the middle. <laughs> My name is Anders. I play the dobro. And I'm over here on your left, on your right, if you're looking into your radio. 
Who's that guy? I'm uh, Dave, and I play guitar. <laughs> Green sky, bluegrass, everybody. <laughs> That's us. This is us. That, that was it. That was it. Just heard congratulations and condolences, which we've been spinning on WNRN. We've been enjoying that track. So that actually was released on Record Store Day last year as part of a 7-inch with another song, Get Out, which were B-sides from the Stress Dreams album that you released last year. So what about those two songs didn't necessarily fit with the narrative arc of Stress Dreams? Why didn't they make the cut the first time? And what was the decision to release them now? Well, the, the short answer is that we just recorded too much music. Yeah. Uh, we recorded that record during uh, the <clears throat> pandemic, and we just kind of kept recording and kept recording. We enjoyed uh, being together. Weird, right? Uh, You're not and, sick of each other uh, yet? <laughs> there was, I don't know, congrats. There was just ballad. There was too many ballady things, so we saved. We decided to save it. Uh, Get Out wasn't done, so that's why we didn't do that one yet. Uh, I think there's more. Maybe there's more coming. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Are there more B-sides floating around you might release? or C-sides, even. Move, move, <laughs> C-sides. Are you going to move forward, though, and, and start recording some new stuff, or are you just concentrating on, on these tracks on the road right we now? We did uh, already record some more stuff. We were just in Iceland um, Very playing nice. an event. We went so to was a studio I. there. I not heard that. Yes. But you weren't, we weren't there at the same time. No, I, I just got show. back on, on Sunday. So ah, welcome. fresh off the plane. Well, I've never had more urge to wish I could say something in Icelandic right now. <laughs> but I can't. Skull. Hot dogs. Skull. Oh. Anyway, skull. oh, did you have the hot dogs, by the way? Yeah, yeah. What did you think? I didn't. Great. I, thought it was great. I thought it was a great hot dog. Um, you know, good snap. That, that's a, that's snap, a, yes. One of the ways you measure a hot dog is the snap. Real intestine. Yeah, it's real intestine, which, you know. Dave's a hot dog expert. Probably Dave, you've got a hot dog shirt on, I think, don't you? Um, yeah, pretty weird. You know, that's a national food there. I feel like we should probably be talking about something different. <laughs> Let's talk uh, about the songs you recorded in but, Iceland. But, yeah, where, yeah. where did you do that? Let's talk about that. Yeah. Uh, did you eat the hot dogs while you were recording? Uh, no, that'd be a pretty weird sound, <laughs> which I sort of have a desire to try and make into this microphone right now, but I'm not going to. Uh, we recorded at a studio called Floki. In way, way north in Iceland. Um, I couldn't even tell you the name of a town. It didn't feel like a town. Um, uh, and I mean, middle of nowhere, like two bodies of water on each side. And, um, and we were there for about a week, and we literally saw less than 10 people for the week. Um, four, the four, of which, four, <laughs> four of which we saw for about four minutes. Uh, so we didn't see a lot of people. We just made music. And um, it was pretty cool, you know, be, being really, really remote. I mean, it almost felt like it almost felt like quarantine, like COVID times again. It was we were pretty, pretty Fully immersive. Yeah, so. Im immersed. Yeah, I was gonna say, was it similar to because you recorded Stress Dreams in Vermont, right? Mm -hmm. And again during COVID, so you know, no other outside influence. So was it a similar vibe? Are you looking to continue recording in that way moving yeah. forward? Yeah, you know, they say that Iceland is the Vermont of a. Uh, the world. <laughs> and, That's what I heard. And uh, or no, it's Vermont is the Iceland of the U.S. I'm sorry. Do they really? Yeah, yeah, all the time. <laughs> it's, in, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's in their it's in their um, bio their bio. Uh, so yeah, we were kind of going for that, and you know, yeah. <laughs> what was the question? I'm sorry. <laughs> I think we just rewrote the guidebook for Iceland. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hope that was very informative. Uh, Green Sky Bluegrass live on WNRN. <laughs> They're playing in Maymont tonight, music at Maymont. Doors at 5.30, the show's at 7 o'clock. So the last time we spoke with you guys, last year, Stress Dreams had just come out. You played in Charlottesville. We got to catch up with you then, and we were talking about what it was like being back on the road after COVID, and especially for a band like you all, where you're a very tour-heavy band, so having that break was, you know, very interesting, and it was good to be back on the road. Um, I'm curious, have you noticed any difference since you've been touring or fans even more eager venues any different is there is there sort of a difference on the road now or is it just back to the way it always was hmm, i'm gonna go with a safe answer and say both <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah yeah it's, uh, uh, no both. seriously though i i feel like uh at first there was like a palpable excitement with people to be back and um you know we witnessed a lot of like reunion 
uh, excitement in the crowd. Um, it feels pretty normal to me again now, though, um, in, which is just like it feels awesome. That's what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, normal's good. Like normal our, is our good. Normal, our normal lives are pretty sweet. Uh, <laughs> right? I mean, so normal's good. Um, yeah, it's... That's where... Okay, last time we talked, we were in the, wo- in the woods. At that, that studio that in the studio? woods, right? Yeah, we were I, at a studio I, in the I, woods. I, I, yeah. Not as creepy as it sounds. Yeah. <laughs> that's where, that was like the Iceland... The Vermont of Virginia. Yeah, the Vermont of Virginia. Yeah, that was the Iceland we the- of Richmond. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, or, of, of Charlottesville. Yeah, of Charlottesville, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it feels pretty normal to me out there uh, in a really good way. Yeah. I don't know. If, I'm good. excited to be back at Maymont. I've always liked this place. Yeah. I've always enjoyed this gig. It's fun. It's outside, and we get to party outside and have a great, it's going to be a beautiful evening. That's a place. Nice. I've, Give decided, it a taste. I've decided already it's going to be a beautiful it's gonna evening. It's going to be good. Yeah. Declared it here first. You I'm heard it here first, folks. Well, give us a taste of what we're going to hear tonight in Maymont. What well, would you like to play a, next? You know, you were asking about what it's like different. This song's called New and Improved, which, you know, could be sort of a segue if I did that better. Walking out the door, I got a few more thoughts. You got them all. Same old defense again. Help me in. Something new for you, baby. Here's the one. Look, get it, hun. You're not the only one. So weary of the way we seem to come undone. You say the trust is gone, you say the bird is flown How many chances do we get, there's not another one Truth is, I'm half wrong Heart press to say, it took me so long I got a whole new show, kind of love for you I've never seen before New and improved, it's in the art Baby, time of life, but me up, straight and true, baby. Days, and I'll be lying if I told you it was the other way How can I help you see my newfound maturity Is it the same old boast? How could it be? <laughs> Truth is, you have been wrong Hard pressed to say that it took me so long I got a whole new some kind of love for you Like I've never seen before I got that news, baby. Have a life, but me out. Straight and truly, baby.
if I told you twice, but there's another way. How can I help you see something new in me? This time's nothing like the previous two or three. Truth is, you have to be wrong. Offer is to say that it took me so long. I got a whole new jump kind of love you. I've never seen before. New and improved. Same thing you I got that news, baby. Top of the line. Bump me up. Please believe me, baby. Just can't leave me, baby Sky Bluegrass live on WNRN from In Your Ear Studios in Richmond, playing music at Maymont tonight. Doors at 5.30, shows at 7. All right, Anders, I'm going to attempt a segue from that song into my next question. Let's see if I can do it seamlessly. Um, <laughs> so I'm curious um, how you all view your role within the genre of bluegrass. So you incorporate some standards into your sets. Um, do you feel a responsibility to sort of continue on the tradition while at the same time you're continuing to innovate and bust it wide open? Uh, I feel no responsibility personally to anything <laughs> um, besides what is just whatever we think is cool. Um, and uh, that being said, bluegrass is in our name. Um, I like think, it. and we like bluegrass. Um, we also like lots of other music. Um, I was listening to... Uh, Something that were, I forget exactly what it was, but it was, um, they were talking about Doc Watson and how he had said that he described his music as traditional, traditional plus, and uh, it was like plus whatever, whatever he likes. And I think that's that's really cool to think that Doc Watson was doing that. Um, uh, you know, I feel like there's a lot, there was a fair amount of pressure when we were a younger band to try and describe what it is that we do because. We, we couldn't just be like, no, just go listen to it. You know, it was we we're trying to sell people on what green sky bluegrass is, right? Or or turn them on to it or whatever. And and so we spent a lot of time saying like, it's like bluegrass, but this or whatever. You know, it's it's all these different things. And and I, Paul said before like, you know, back then we were trying to convince like promoters and talent buyers that like. No, no, it's cool. We swear, you know, like it's, but, they, but it's, and they're like bluegrass, whatever, you know, and, and, um, and so I think that it's, I don't know, the, the, and I guess my point there is that like the older that we've gotten, the more we've done this, we've sort of been able to just point to our body of work and say, we're that, you know, like yeah. Green Sky is its own thing. Um, and I think that if anything else, we're in, we're in the line, we're in a long lineage of musicians and bands and people that have taken bluegrass and twisted it up and, and mixed it up with all sorts of other music and created something that's even bigger, different, greater, whatever. But that lineage goes all the way back to Bill Monroe who created bluegrass, um, like literally created bluegrass. and. He created by taking a bunch of music and mixing that with his other influences, and that became bluegrass. And and um, you know, a lot of credit goes to a lot of people doing how that I've been doing this for a long time, like the Sam Bushes of the world, and um, you know, Newgrass Revival. And we're just part of the whole the whole thing that is continuing creating music. <laughs> yeah. so happy. Now chapter, now chapter two. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, um, again, I'm not sure if I answered your question, but we're like the Iceland of. <laughs> we're like. The <laughs> yeah. So to bring it back home, hot dogs. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. nice. That was yeah. real nice. That's a great answer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, slow clap. yeah. Well, it's it's cool you asked that because I've been thinking about that, like how it all fits together. You know, it's. Well, I think there's something to be said for. I think there's subsets of your audience that find their way to the origins of bluegrass through you all. 
you know, and they might not have known about it before. Um, so yeah, I think it's yeah, cool. that's cool. Yeah. You know, people people discovering bluegrass because of us. Yeah. That's awesome. You know. Yeah, absolutely. And Great. green sky is the opposite of bluegrass. If you think about the phraseology, like the the word, that's not a real word, but if you think about green sky, is the opposite of bluegrass. So we're both at the same time. Think about it. <laughs> Green Sky Bluegrass live on WNRN. You can see them at Music at Maymont tonight at 7 o'clock. Why don't you guys take us out with one more? Okay. There's okay. no cussing in this one, right? There's no cussing in this one. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't think about that. Well, I think it's, that's, a, that's probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's happened a couple Get times. Get it real so. low end. It works. It's, I won't do it again. Maybe. It's well, it's it might. Yeah, don't put it that one it's off. on that cord. <laughs> nice. That looks, nice. That, looks, that, looks that, looks that looks really good. All right. One, two, three, four. Under the collars, I've been walking for hours, but I'm on the most way. I said that I would be just like on television. This heart full of ambition has been haunting my dreams, reaching for grand things, and I never really knew they could be mine. But I'm out. of the chances I miss but I'm on my way to that vacant place where I promised myself I would not escape one more drink and I'm in it one's useless mess just a helpless man with no self defense but if I'm not yours what are you looking for and I'm out Way past my prime Looking for reasons I didn't get my Green Sky Bluegrass, live on WNRN from In Your Ear Studios in Richmond. You can see them at Music at Maymont tonight. Doors at 5.30, shows at 7. Thanks to everybody at In Your Ear, Carlos, Andrea, Billy, Charlie. Thanks to my WNRN colleagues, Mike Lynn and Liz. For WNRN, I'm Desiree Moses. Thanks to Green Sky Bluegrass. <laughs>